make P the subject of the formula, 8P to the 4, Q to the 1 third, R to the minus 3, P, all cubed, divided by R to the minus 8, and then if Q is equal to 10.2 and R is equal to 4.6, both round into one decimal place, work out the lower bound for P. Okay, so making P the subject of 8P to the 4, Q to the 1 third, R to the minus 3, P, all cubed, over r to the minus 8. Now, first of all, if we have a, b to the n, that's the same as a to the m, b to the n. So applying that here, this will become q to the 1 third times 3, which is q, r to the minus 3 times 3, which is minus 9, and p cubed, which is p cubed, over r to the minus 8. Now using the idea that a to the m over a to the m is equal to a to the m minus n to these two here, we're going to have the 8p to the 4 is equal to q. This becomes r to the minus 9 minus minus 8. So that becomes r to the minus 1 p cubed. Now r to the minus 1 is going to be, if we think of a to the minus n, is 1 over a to the n, so this will become 1 over r, so we need to divide by r. So we've got 8p to the 4 is qp cubed over r. Then finally, if we divide by p cubed and uh, divide by 8, we're going to get that p is equal to q to the 8r. So dividing by 8 will take the 8 down here, dividing by p cubed will come down here, and then p to the 4 minus p to the 3 will give me P. So I've made P the subject. Right, so we've got Q's 10.2, R's 4.6 to one decimal place. And we've got P is Q to the 8 over 8R. Eight and we need to find the lower bound of P. So the lower bound, so what we need to do is take the lower bound of Q, but the upper bound of Ah, and that will ensure that that division gives you the smallest number possible. So the lower bound of Q is uh, 10.15, if that's been running off to uh, one decimal place. And the upper bound of R is going to be 4.6, so it's going to be 4.65. Substituting those numbers in, so the lower bound of P will be P is equal to 10.15 divided by 8 times 4.65. Do this on the calculator with your fraction button, and that will give you 203 over 744, which is 0 0.273. So this has been a video to show you how to change the uh, subject of a formula, and then use that to find the lower bound of the subject. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.